Hey friends, my name is Alyssa Ice and I'm the owner of Ginger Rose, a floral design studio based in Atlanta. And I'm so excited to be partnering with Etu Home for an In the Kitchen series on their new white ceramics line that they just launched. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to create a summery, seasonal, beautiful floral arrangement in this newest line. Um, I have some really pretty pots of color and some muted tones as well to show you. But before I do that, I wanted to give you a little bit of background about their new baseline because it's awesome and it's really versatile and I love it just as a florist myself. I would love to use this a lot for when I'm entertaining guests at my home or if I'm doing a wedding. Um, this is just a really great neutral piece to have in your collection. So these are all made using low fire terracotta and they are all handmade um, by being thrown on a wheel using 19th century methods, which is amazing. Um, you can really tell the uniqueness in each piece because there is some variances in opaqueness and some dripping of the glaze that really makes each piece unique. And as a designer, those are the kind of unique nuances that I look for when I buy a piece um, because it's not just your run of the mill container that you would find anywhere. So. Um, so anyways, that is why I'm so excited to be using their water jug vessel for this particular arrangement. And this is great with a handle. Um, it's a really nice size to use on like a kitchen island or as a centerpiece for your guest table. There's a lot of different options you can use with this size base. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So I have picked a range of flowers today that you could probably find at your farmer's market. Um, your local farmer's market if you have one. I really love to support local flower shops, local farmer's markets, so those are the kind of places that I like to buy my blooms. Um, but when you purchase those and take them home, I wanted to show you some tips and tricks on what to do, how to process them, how to get them ready for the design before we actually jump into the design. So um, just to kind of show you an example, these are from the local farmer market. They're a beautiful coxcomb. Um, I'll show you kind of up close once I get a minute on how stunning they are color wise. But so I wanted to show you when you get your flowers home, they'll probably look like this. And the very first thing you need to do is take off all of the paper. And you'll probably hear me use the term processing flowers a lot. This is what I mean by processing. We're prepping them, taking all the foliage off, getting them ready to go into your floral arrangement. So. I'm taking the paper off and taking all the rubber bands off and plastic that might be on there. You want to take that all off. So you can see here. Um, so now I have a bunch of loose stems. And my biggest trick that I can tell you guys that's going to help the flower arrangement that you make last longer is to take off all of the foliage that you know is going to be below the water line. So a lot of these are already kind of stripped, but to show you an example, so here's a stem. I'm just gonna take these lower leaves off just so that when I put it in water, none of that is going to be in my water because that's what promotes bacterial growth. And that is what is going to make your flowers not last quite as long. So we wanna take care of all of that. Um, a lot of the stuff on the table here I've already cleaned up. So that's why I'm gonna be just kind of grabbing and designing as I go. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So when you are creating a floral arrangement, the biggest thing that you want to do first is create your base layers. So these are usually your heavier flowers, your greenery, anything that's like really bulky um, and has more of a larger presence as far as flowers goes. That's what you're going to want to design with first. So when I say your base layer, that's kind of what I'm talking about here. So I have this really pretty seeded eucalyptus. And this is a greenery that I'm going to design with first. And like I said, I want to use my greenery first. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the face, just kind of on an angle. Um, and your flower varieties and your bundle sizes and things are probably going to be a lot different than what I'm using today based on seasonality and availability. But you can kind of just get a general idea of what to work with. So see, I'm just kind of basing out with some greenery here. And if you notice, I'm giving everything a fresh cut right before I put it into water. And that's a really important part to keeping your flower arrangement lasting longer um, because the stems will start to close up once they are taken out of water. So rule of thumb, 
always give your fresh flowers a fresh cut right before they go into their water. And that will allow them to be a lot happier and last longer for you. So again, you're noticing that there's no greenery below the water line. Um, and I'm just kind of filling out and making sure there's some nice coverage. I still want to be able to see that handle because um, I think that's such a special moment to this space. So I'm being kind of mindful of that as I'm designing. Um, but you can kind of see I got my base layer here. This is probably less than a foot up with greenery and that's kind of a nice place to, to keep it at, I think, for this base scale wise. Um, so next, I am going to use some of this really cool amaranthus. So this stuff is super funky. It's a great late summer flower. Um, it lasts really long. So this is gonna be another thing that I'm considering to be my base layer. It's a nice burgundy color that I think will blend really well with all of the other tones I've chosen. So you can kind of see that I'm just putting them in groups, odd numbers. So I'm doing groups of three, groups of five, groups of seven, you know, whatever makes sense for what you're doing. But um, I'm still keeping that handle visible here. And I'm giving everything a fresh cut before I put it in water. And I'm just sort of spacing things out sort of evenly and doing something kind of unique shape wise. So I wanted to do one piece that is mostly greenery forward and then I will do another video that has a little bit more flower forward design. So to me, um, I think this is, you know, a really great way for something that you are going to be hosting like in late fall or, you know, summer or whatever, where it's just greenery and just really pretty, um, classic, super timeless. Um, so I know it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but you can kind of see what's happening here. It's just really pretty and seasonal. And I could picture this with, you know, some autumn plates and some really neutral fall tones around like with your plate wear and stuff. Um, and all of that stuff you could probably find at Etsy or Home too. So before you're getting ready to entertain for fall, I highly recommend stopping in, giving yourself this base, going to pick some seasonal greenery and creating something really unique with just textural greenery.